What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another, this is a question that the one of the comments asked me to do which is to focus on depth first search and breadth first search and I'll do that. Sorry guys if I haven't made a video in three weeks. I couldn't, I didn't have enough time because of school and all this stuff but I want to try to make a video every week or every day or every week. It depends. I'll see what I could do but all right, we're gonna do this lead code easy problem, which focuses on depth first search. Consider all the leaves of a binary tree from left to right. The values of those leaves form a leaf value sequence. As you can see here, uh, we have three, five, one, six, two, seven, four, eight, nine, eight. Uh, the leaf sequence is the last row, which is six, seven, four, nine, eight. Two binary trees are leaf similar if they're the value sequence is the same, so return true only if the two given trees with head nodes root 1, root 2 are leaf similar. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you guys already tried to do this problem yourself. It's uh, 872 leaf similar trees on lead code. So I'm going to start doing it right now. Essentially what we're trying to do is basically any question that involves depth first, uh, that involves trees probably has to do with depth first surf, depth first search or breadth first search pretty much or in order traversal or um, in order traversal pre-order traversal or post order traversal so most likely the whatever whatever uh, whatever whatever question involving trees has these cer certain concepts right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get try to get the last row uh, we're gonna use depth first search to get the last row uh, depth first search means you keep going until you get to the last node and then you come back up and then you keep going until you go to the next last node so in this case we're going to try to keep going until we get to six keep going to get to seven keep going to get to four nine and eight all right and we're going to do that in pretty much get all these values of the last row add it into a vector or an array and then we get all the values of the second tree node which is uh the second tree which is whatever values of their last row is and then we added those values into another vector or array and then we loop through the two vectors and arrays to compare if they're the same so that's basically how you do this I'm gonna code that right now so first we're gonna create a method called uh, depth first search depth first search keep in mind I haven't done this question yet so I actually don't know what I'm to expect but Let's see what happens. Okay, this is gonna be the last row. Okay, this is the row of the vector that we're gonna keep adding, or array that we're gonna keep adding it to, until we get to the last one. Okay, now we're gonna have our root that we pass in, which is I'm gonna call it root. Essentially, if the root is equal to null, then that means we're past this last one, right? We passed this. So that means that we're going to essentially return. Okay, because that means that we're done. Otherwise, I have to recursively call this you passing in the left and the right. That's what I have to do. So I'm going to check if, uh, or Otherwise, I'll call depth first search on the left, left tree, passing in the root. Uh, yeah, left passing in last row, and then I'm gonna call it depth first search root left uh, right pass in the last row. Okay. Um, pretty much. Then what we're gonna do is. We pass in left and right, and then it's going to be null and whatever. Um, we check if the left root and right node uh, and right uh, root is equal to null. Then that means that uh, we have to add it to the last last row. So here I'm just going to do uh, last row last row dot push back. We're going to add roots value to it. Okay. Um, ideally, this should work. If it doesn't, then I have to do like checks if, to see if left or right is null. 
but this ideally should work. Uh, I'm just gonna call depth first search on root one and then pass in a empty vector first. So this is gonna be first, pass this in. And I'm gonna just go through this and see if it actually got the print out every value of first to see if it actually got the right value the the right last the last row six seven four and nine eight that's what I'm gonna do here so I'm gonna run the code and see what happens if it doesn't get it uh, worst case scenario it's like stacks overflow but let's see uh, okay we got it it's index there oh okay wait uh, they're expecting a return value so let's just return false for now for now we'll let's return false okay hold up hold up hold up hold up this is taking a long time why is it taking a long time okay so this got me okay so this actually got me three five one six two nine eight no no seven four so three five one six two nine eight seven four okay so this actually got this okay so I didn't actually do breakfast search I actually just printed out in order traversal. That's what I did by accident. Uh, so let me see. Let me see something. Three, five, six, two, seven, four, one, nine, eight. Okay. Three, five, six, two, seven, four, nine, one, nine, eight. Okay. So. Okay. So I'm actually doing something wrong. Okay. Let's see. What am I doing? Okay. Um. Push. So okay. So what we're gonna do is. We want to check if the left, if roots left is equal to null and roots right is equal to null. Okay. And then, then we add it. That's what we have to do. Okay. So you see, guys, I'm learning this as well. Learning this with you guys. Because if, if the left and the right is null, that means it's the last row. Okay. So, uh, both of these have to be null because as you can see on six there's no left or right nodes and seven there's no left and right nodes four there's no left and right nodes nine no eight no okay and as you can see we got seven six seven four nine eight okay so now we have make because we know that this works we are going to pass in the second another pass another array into depth for search root two second and then once this propagates all the values into the the second vector we're going to loop through both of them uh, first dot size they have to be the same size I think if they're not the same size then oh boy <laughs> you can't really you just know that this returns false but yeah I could do that check if first size if if they're not the same number of uh, values then you know it's false okay you know they're not the same similar trees but anyway so now we're going to check if root uh, first at I is equal to second at I continue uh, if it's not equal if it's not equal then we return false Otherwise, at this end case, we return true. And let's run the code and see if it's the same. Return true, return true. Uh, let's see what else. Do, is there anything? OK, I'm going to hit submit. And it got accepted. So that's basically how you do this question. You have to keep going down until you reach the, the last row. Um, in this case, to, to make sure that it's the last row, we had to check if the roots left is equal to null and the roots right is equal to null. And yeah, that's basically how you do it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Check you guys later. Let's let's first see what they did. Okay, so they did exactly the same thing as I did. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's what they did. All right, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace. Oh, you could you could check vectors equals like that. I didn't know that. You can just check the vector if they're equal with equal equal. Huh. Okay, let's hold up. This this is 
This is a revelation. Return first is equal to second. I did not know that. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. But yeah, that's how you, how you do it. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later.